And check out this video. Surveillance video shows a car flying down Montgomery Avenue, slamming into a car and then careening into two small businesses. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey talked to the guy whose car got hit and the business manager still cleaning up tonight. Everybody's records has been here for 45 years. Right now, the windows are boarded up. The same is true for the Gaslight Cafe next door, and people here say it's a miracle. Nobody was killed. This is the moment a woman blew through a red light and smashed into two Pleasant Ridge businesses. In the back of the video, you can see Robert Buckle's car with the front torn off. Got into the intersection and somebody kind of almost T-boned me. Buckle says the contact jarred him and he couldn't believe what he saw when he looked at the damage left behind. You don't know if you're going to survive or if, if they survive really is what it felt like. Yeah. So it was really scary, you know, scary and it kind of throws you off your kilter. An accident report shows that the driver, Ayanna Armstrong, walked away without injuries, but police cited her for suspicion of OVI and disobeying a traffic signal. Then cleanup at everybody's records began. Came in this morning about 8 and everything would just look like a wreck. Manager Patrick Dorsey says the car's impact launched the head of a parking meter into their store like a missile, obliterating the pane glass and destroying their iconic neon sign. But assistant manager Michael Shooter is counting their blessings. Luckily, she didn't go any more to the left or the right because she would have been three or four booths into the gas lights or about where I'm standing in, in our store. The police report says the car was speeding into the intersection, which was the only thing not surprising both managers. It's kind of a drag strip anymore. That's um, symptomatic of you know a greater problem with people driving too fast. Uh, on Montgomery Road and then inevitably forcing the issue with uh, the intersection at the traffic light. Now, Shooter and Dorsey both say that this area is too congested during the day for speed bumps, but they would like to see an increased police presence at night to crack down on these speeders. In Pleasant Ridge, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.